Now, let's finish the programme with some final thoughts on the big story of the day, the surprise announcement that the Pope is to resign at the end of the month. Well, Jack Valero is a coordinator for Catholic Voices, a group of Catholic professionals who emerged to represent Catholic opinion when Pope Benedict came to the UK in September 2010. He joins me now in the studio. Thanks very much indeed for being with us and for staying with us, by the way. It's, I know it's been a long afternoon. Um, should Popes be resigning? I mean, bearing in mind that um, the enormity of the job, yeah. uh, they come from a long line going all the way back to St. Peter and ultimately, frankly, Jesus. Should Popes be resigning such an important post? Well, it's very unusual, and in history only a few, a handful of Popes have resigned, and only one voluntarily, which is this one. Um, Interestingly, in 2010, he was asked this very question, should popes resign, in an interview by Peter Sievald. Mm. And he said, well, if uh, due to age or illness or health, they can't do their job as well as they, uh, as they should, then they can resign, and in some cases they should resign. Mm. And what's interesting also in that book, he said um, he was following a great pope, John Paul mm. II, mm. who had changed the face of the papacy. And he said, and in history, there are big popes and little popes, and I'm only a little pope. I'm not right. important. Even though he's probably one of the four or five top intellectuals in the world, you know. I think when we look back on his pontificate, we will realize that it, it is an important pontificate. He's been a great teaching pope. Um, he has achieved, he, he has connected with young people in a way which was completely unexpected. His trips abroad, of which he has done many more than expected, mm. have been a huge success. I mean, just to think of the one here, you know, the number of people, the, the rapturous reception mm. he got, how people listened to him. Sure. I mean, so September 20th, to, uh, September 2010, that visit w was really incredible for so many people, and particularly, of course, for Catholics. Um, but uh, you represented, uh, and your group represents sort of the views of many Catholics in this country. Um, are there any criticisms that you would level at, at, at the Pope? Is there anything that you feel he should have done and didn't do while he was in office? Well, of course, no Pope is perfect. I'm looking at it uh, on the first day after his resignation and thinking, mm. this is a great papacy. Of he thought it was a transitional papacy. I, I just look at the, the books he's written, the encyclicals on love, on the financial crisis, the speeches. I think four speeches he's, he's given, which are going to be historical for the rest of history, in Regensburg, in Paris, in London, here in mm -hmm. Westminster Hall, down the road, mm -hmm. and in, uh, bun in the Bundestag mm -hmm. a year later in 2011. These, which sh uh, set out the, the relation between faith, reason, and modernity, what are we do going to do as modern people, mm -hmm. and what is our reaction to religion? Th this is really important for all religions, I think. Very briefly, uh, the Archbishop of Southwark, he said he wanted to see a younger man take the job. Briefly, what do you think? Well, yes, I think a younger man will get the job, <laughs> and probably from any continent. All right, okay. Jack Valero, thanks very much indeed for coming in. Thank you. Thank you.